What's up guys and welcome back to another creature feature episode here on Shark Bites. I've decided to change up the formatting of these creature features because I know a lot of you out there really enjoy these. So as a result, I am no longer capping them at 60 seconds. Sometimes I've struggled to fit in everything I wanted to say about a certain shark or ray species on these creature features. So making them a little bit longer for you has got to be a good thing, right? Some of these are of course going to be longer than other ones because in some shark species, we just know more about them. So we'll just see how it goes. Anyway, Today's creature feature has been suggested by Wilhelm Tan. In fact, it's been suggested a number of times by Wilhelm Tan. <laughs> and the shark that he's chosen is the Northern River Shark. So let's get stuck right in and check it out. The Northern River Shark, aka Glyphus Gariki, is a medium-sized shark belonging to the Carcharhinid family, reaching sizes somewhere between two and three meters. It lives in the waters around Southeast Asia and Western Australia. And when I say waters, as you might have guessed by its name, this shark lives in rivers and estuaries. There actually aren't many shark species that are true freshwater species, with the Glyphus genus containing four known river sharks. Bull sharks are, of course, the only other known shark that can truly live in freshwater, alongside these river sharks. The northern river shark is thought to be one of the rarest shark species in the world, having originally been discovered in Australia in 1986. There have only ever been 36 specimens recorded in the country since. This shark has extremely small eyes relative to its size, and it's thought they're not really used that much in hunting. Instead, they have an unusually dense concentration of ampullae of Lorenzi on their snout, which helps them detect the electrical impulses of their prey. There have been so few documentations of this shark that scientists don't really know that much about it. In one study, it was even shown that a number of the river sharks that were recorded had fused vertebrae, which was thought to be caused by inbreeding because the population is so small. What we do know about this shark, though, is that it's incredibly threatened. Scientists believe that habitat degradation is one of the major factors contributing to this decline because this species lives relatively close to shore and therefore relatively close to human interference. Alongside this, commercial and illegal gillnet fisheries threaten river sharks as they're often accidentally caught as bycatch. So there you go guys, that's as much as I can tell you about the northern river shark, a pretty rare and elusive shark species. Hopefully as time moves on we start to learn a little bit more about these sharks but for now a lot of their life histories remain a complete mystery. So so this is the bit where I usually ask you to suggest some sharks and rays for me to do creature features on, but I now have a list of over 27 different sharks and rays that I've got to do. I suppose if you've suggested one before, then suggest it again like Wilhelm did, and it's probably going to stick in my mind a little bit more. So what do you think about northern river sharks? Have you ever heard of them before? Have you got some awesome facts about them that I haven't mentioned today? I want to hear all your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoy this video, please do give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the Shark Bite channel below where you can stay up to date with all of our latest creature features and other videos. Until then, see you next time.